Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I've been sitting here for about an hour and 15 minutes at the Lowe's here in Frankfurt, 6.45 in the evening. Got my fourth ride for the day. Not maybe 10 minutes after I left from that boat uh, dock over there, that uh, boat ramp over there, where I about lost a fishing magnet. Uh, I uh, walked out there, got it. I, I don't know, I got some screwed up my head on the numbers and everything. I was, I was looking for Highway 217 and it was actually 127. I don't know why I had 217 in my head. And I was out there asking people if they knew where 217 was at. They're like, there ain't no 217 around here. I was, oh, shit. <laughs> 127. Okay, so I got a daily amount of uh, videos uploaded. Uh, YouTube won't allow me to upload any more videos for the next 24 hours. So, uh, and then I've got my Google photo thing backing up things, 89 things backing up here. And uh, tomorrow here in the state, great state of Kentucky, at 5 o'clock, everything changes with mask mandates tomorrow. My fourth ride today, I want to say hi to you. Was it uh, Justin, Dustin, the uh, tree utility arborist guy? Uh, he... Uh, manages people tells people what trees to cut and when to cut them and where to cut them uh, away from power lines and other kinds of uh, supply lines and utilities and stuff like that so uh, uh, like I said 6:45, and I got dropped here around around 5 30 just uh, right after dusk so uh, and then I showed you I found that book I try to get a hold of a guy through Facebook, trying to find out it was the wrong guy, and the guy that I got a hold of lives in Chicago instead of Frankfort, Kentucky. I tried talking to them in here at Lowe's about using their phone to try to call the number that I found on public records on Google, and they told me no personal phone calls. I guess I own a book. I did the right thing. I tried. I tried. I tried. I did the right thing. I own a Ruth, a Ruth Allen Ginsburg book. I started to say earlier, I saw the documentary last year at the Panada Theater in Sandpoint, Idaho. Really awesome documentary. I recommend watching it. She's a strong woman and she started young, had a bunch of kids and man, she, she just did amazing in her life. And she's still doing amazing in her life. I'm gonna get off here so I don't uh, tie up too much memory on the phone. And uh, I'm gonna go find a place to, uh, and this is the 127. So I'm going that direction. I'm on my, back on my beaten path here in Frankfort, Kentucky. Love you guys and I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. Peace.